Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a Fortnite drop randomizer So, uh, for a Discord bot obviously As you can see here, you create the command drop it shows you the image of the map and then the finger points on a random area of the map where you could drop So, this is really simple to do And uh, I'll show you right now So if you follow my uh, scrim series bot and you have your working bot at the end You can use that uh, those files to start off with and create a command. If you haven't followed my series, I made a I made a, a empty bot with nothing in it, except it. You can connect it to your server and it'll it'll work. You can uh, download that from my GitHub and open it on your computer and you can run it from there. So I'll show you how it goes. So you go in your commands, open a new file, we'll call it drop.js. Start off, so we're gonna start off with our module that exports uh, run, which is an async function with our bot message and args as parameters. And then here, we're just going to export our file. Here, you write the name of the file, so I called it drop.js. You just write drop here, you don't have to put the .js very simple it's only a two liner so I'm gonna put let random well I'm just gonna put uh, our, num our number is equal to math math.floor and we're flooring a math.random times 51 I'll explain that later plus one all right, and then there I'm going just to message dot send, and I'm going to oh message dot channel dot send. Going to send a message here. So random drop, and over here I'm going to put a file. Go to files. Open a square bracket, and here I use the uh, apostrophe, uh, not the apostrophe, but here, I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. So I've noticed in my last video a lot of people were writing these things as these or these, but it's this. Alright, it's really important. If you don't put it as these, this will create an error. Alright, so I'll just shrink my font again. So inside of this thing, you put dot slash images, and, but, uh, and then you put the money, open curly brackets, ran at our number, I mean, and then dot JPEG. Okay, so I'm going to explain what it does. So here, we're taking a random number between 1 and 51. The reason why is because I have a folder here with 51 images with their name just as a number these are all locations on the map with the finger pointing at it like if I open one you can, as you can see it's literally just it's a bunch of pictures like that and these you can download these I'll, I'll put the link in my description I'll explain all that at the end of the video so we're getting a random number between 1 and 51 and then we're gonna load our file which is located in our images folder which is right here where all the images are and then the image we're going to load is going to be our number here which is going to be randomized then we're just going to put the extension jpeg at the end so it, it opens the file so that's all we need if I save this I open my shell um, bring it over here so I got my shell open I already cd towards my directory. If you if you don't know how to do this, I'll show you right now. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get out of it. Okay. All right. Ignore what I did here. This is not important. So let's say I want to go from. Um, I want to go to my project file. So I'm gonna go to my documents. I'm gonna go YouTube, and this is the test bot. All right. This is where all my all my code is. Right. So. I'm gonna 
when I get here, I'm going to type cd, so change directory, space, and then I'm going to grab the whole folder and, t and put it in, and then press enter. That will bring me over there, and then I can just type node index.js, and then when I load it, it works, no errors. I'm going to go here, type drop. Alright, so now I'm landing at uh, junk junction, I guess. Or, let's see what I get this time. This time I'm landing in shifty uh, in uh, salty. Do it again. Random math mountain. So you see how it works. So you just type drop, you get an image of a finger pointing at it. You got 51 different image to circle through. So, so you, you you it could be possible to get twice the exact same one, but that'd be very very rare. Um. So that's all for people that already have my my screen bot. Well, you just have to go on the link in the description and click on it, and it will download the image for your for you. And then just take that folder, make sure it's called images, and drag it into your project folder. So your folder should look like this. You get your commands, images, module, node, module, and then you get this all this here. Make sure you got your images with your 51 image. So if you don't have my uh, my screen bot that I made a tutorial on uh, it came out like a week ago has close I think has like se six or seven parts um, if you don't have that I made a just like a skeleton bot it does not have any scrim functions or anything it's, it's simply just a bot that will pop up on your discord server so uh, I recommend you check in the scrim series if you want an actual uh, scrim bot and I have this command of the the drop command added to it if you just want to uh, a simple bot with only the random drops on it. This is where you'd go. You, uh, the link will be in my description as well. I'll specify the difference between the ones that have the, f the scrim bot and the ones that don't, because it'll be two GitHub's link, but different ones. So, if for those who have the scrim bot, you don't have to fall uh, to listen to this part. So thanks for watching. Those who don't, here's really important. So we have a settings file here. We need a token and an owner. So to do that, we have to generate a uh, not generate. We have to create a bot real quick. So, I'm going to open browser, discordapps.com slash developer, alright? This will open this thing with applications. Create a new application. Um, I'm going to call it Fortnite Random Drop. And then save that. Click on bot, add bot. Yes. Go here. It's fine. I want to reveal its token. Okay. Copy that. Go into here, paste it into uh, the token. Make sure it, it's closed like that. Like you saw how I pasted it, it put a lot of empty spaces. Make sure it's it's compact in between those quotations. And then your owner owner ID is your own ID on Discord. So you have to go if you're not deliver a developer mode already. You have to go in here settings, and then from settings you go uh, to appearance. And advance, you see, make sure this is on. You need that. All right, and then you right click on your name, you copy ID. And then when you open this file again, the settings.json, you just paste your ID in there and you save that. And then I'm going to show you how to invite your bot to your Discord. So just open another tab here. Uh, Discord. Just got to grab the link. So, um, this is the link I'll put in the description as well. You just paste it into a, a new tab. You see here it says cl uh, your client ID. You go to your bot general information. You copy this client ID. You go to that tab. You change it and put permissions. I'll put eight just to give it administrator. So, this is the link here. When you press enter, this will open the Discord app and it'll ask you which server you want to put it in. So I want to put in uh I'm gonna put in this one. Alright, so now my bot's added. So if I open Discord, you see I got the Fortnite random drop bot. So I'm gonna turn off the other version and then I'm gonna run the new one. Alright. 
when you're in the your, your bot location you just type in node index.js now you see add rules drop the js hello i'm ready let's go here type drop and then you get your random drop and this is technically the command right now it's only uh, it's, you you're the only one that can actually write it it's only the uh, the server owner and if you want to let other people write it so let's say you would like your your people that have like a, a host role in the server so you would have to use the add roles command so you go here you tap add roles and then add and then you put your host and you press enter and if you don't have an error return here that means it should have worked if i open here my files i got a roles.json i got this inside so that means it works so i'm going to take one of my user, uh, one of my test things. I'm gonna take off his role. I'm gonna take just a, a user that has no roles right now. Test user, he has nothing. And then if he writes drop, he doesn't have access to this, all right? But if I go and I give him the host role, and I go on my bot, ca Control C to cancel it, and then Node index.js again. So I just reset the bot so it knows and now so now my test user has the host rule so he should be able to use the bot command and yeah it works all right well if you have any questions leave it in the comment section if you have a suggestion for another kind of command for your uh, fortnite bot let me know and i'll try to uh, make it happen and uh, have a great day